Hey YouTubers, this is a tutorial video on how to record gameplay with PS3. Even though this will work with any other console if you're running on an AV signal. This is the KWell DVD Maker 2 capture card. It comes with all its drivers, installation and manual disc. Uh, it comes with PowerDirector 8 for your video editing, burning. Even though it was meant to come with PowerDirector 7, but we'll keep that one quiet. <laughs> Uh, it comes with Power Producer 5 DVD, so you can burn all your recorded footage to DVD. And then you've got this special effects disc that's free demo that came with it, and it does is its digital video animation library. It's got various backgrounds and stuff like that, which is quite cool. And then you see it works with PC and Mac, which is quite good. And then what you need to do is, once you've installed all the drivers, you need to double check that the capture card actually is installed. The drivers have actually realistically installed, so what you need to do is bring up your, uh, where are we, bring up the control, go to control panel you need to go to uh, hardware see hardware and sound you need to go right to the top where devices and printers are and then come all the way to the end and mine is device managers right on the end here click on that one and then it will bring up the list with all this and then what you need to do is go right down to, I'll find it first uh, sound and video game controllers, click on that and then once the capture card's in you'll see that you want what we want to see, you know it's worked USB 2861 device, USB capture device and now you know you're ready to record and it's going to work if you've got the capture card in like I have and it doesn't come up with USB what was it, 2861 USB capture device it hasn't worked so what you need to do is go back into your program files uninstall it and reinstall it again because I actually the first time I installed it on this laptop and then it worked fine so it's literally uh, as easy as that so now I will show you how to record ok so now we've got the capture card in the laptop we're now ready to record with PowerDirect 8 so what I'll do is fire up the software as you can see which is now working um, when it first loads up it brings up it goes to the edit screen and then it brings up a load of JPEGs it just came with the software as you can see we're on edit, but what we want to do is we want to go over to the capture button, which is right uh, there. So if we click the mouse on there, if I pan back over to capture card, you'll see it will start flashing blue, and then it will go and disappear, and then it will stay lit blue. And then as soon as it does that, it's like the registering between each other, and then it will work. There we are. So now we're ready to record, even though we haven't got any cables actually in it. But as you can see, it's got a blank screen, so. As you can see, it's got it detects it as an analog source. You can see it does HD cameras, uh, webcam. It's got built-in microphone. My laptop so it will record microphone, all sorts. Really good. So basically, what I need to do now is show you uh, the capture card itself. It comes with a USB dongle, so it's got left and right audio, S video, Composite. Composite is the standard yellow one, which I personally would use over S video. I think it's better quality, and you can split easily. With the S video, it's not bad, but it's there's a good possibility as well. I think that you could maybe wire the S video to the component, so you can maybe um, get full 1080p recording whilst you're on an AV capture card. It's a good possibility. And what I like about that one, I don't know. It's a bit. Let's see if I can bring it a bit over into the light. You can see that it's got audio in, and it tells you left and right. So if you've ever been unsure, which is your white and which is your red. It actually tells you, which is quite cool. So what we need to do now is actually connect it to the capture card itself. So if I put, hopefully you can see, if I put that in the back of the capture card. So if you see, it's got a little groove in it. So you should hear a little click as if I did it. Hopefully you heard that little click. Now, uh, as you can see, that's all in and ready to go. Uh, you're ready to uh, set up to record. As you can see below me, these are the standard PS3 cables. So you've got your left audio, your right audio, and your composite. So what we'll do now is we'll just join them up to the capture card connections. So hopefully you can just about see that. But if I put, I don't know if you can see, but that's your composite one. So if I put the yellow into that, now you've got your red and white audio. So if I put the white and the white and red in the uh, red, like that. Now if I pan over to the laptop and the software as you can see driver is in the disk drive and it's just playing over. Now if I turn the laptop speakers on 
That is on stereo, not mono. It should be. So you can hear. That is the quality of the sound, and that's just laptop speakers. So if I mute the speakers a bit, if we just look up and pan up at the uh, TV screen, it's saying no signal. There's nothing going into it. So now you're going to say to me, well, how can I game and record that at the same time? Well, this is where you need, where you need, uh, you've got audio Y splitters, you need three lots of these. They're female, you know, they'll split any signals, you put the same in each, same colour on each end. As you can see, this is the uh, composite cable going into the Y audio splitter through to the capture card. You're still keeping the main source as that is, but then you can split the signal, go back up to the TV so you can see to game and record through the capture card at the same time. But to do this, you need a double-ended uh, male composite cable. And then all I'll do is show you that what you need to do is, is basically uh, correspond them up. So if I show it, I don't, hopefully you can just about see that, but that, put that in the Y audio with your extension with the other composite cable. And then the other end needs to come all the way up here and into the back of the TV so you've got absolutely nothing going into it. And then what you do is, is plug your extension, other extension into there. Just pan the TV round. And then as you can see, uh, you've got signal through the TV now, pan down to the capture card, and you've got signal in the capture card, so it's literally as easy as that. So what I'll do now is show you how to do the same with the audio, so you've got audio coming from the capture card and audio coming from your surround system or whatever you have. These are the main audio cables coming out of the PS3 going into the capture card. But now we start, we can game and record at the same time, we need sound going to either our TV or surround cell depending what device you use as your audio so to do this you need uh, two lots of Y audio splitters you need a double well two lots of uh, red and white even though these are black they still class as white I don't know if you can see on this one the cable is actually splitting and it is losing a bit of quality and sometimes it's going into mono so if you had the same problem as me you need to get rid of it and upgrade it if you want the best you know sounding audio um, so yeah, so basically if I show you how to uh, set it all up, um, you've got your standard um, red and whites here. So you take the main, take your main source out, it's in the camera and hopefully you can see. And what you need to do is double make sure you know which one's in red and white, and then plug your white so you know it's definitely white in that one. Plug your other white audio splitter into the red, and then plug your red into sort of that one. So like, so you've got your main source like that, and then plug your extension red and black you know they say the black cluster is the white so your red red in there and then your white in there so you've got your main signal going into the capture card the sound but so you've got your extension as well so then you've got your single red and white left over and they can literally now go into anything and it works it's, it's your audio you know plays your audio for your gaming so if it's TV surround sound uh, if you've got like a stereo hi-fi system like me if that's got a red and white on it, that will work. Um, and if you've got <coughs> an X-Rocker, you'll recognise this is the input cable for it. Again, that will work. You know, it's whatever you use, really. So if I show you with uh, my t TV, if we plug the uh, red and white, or the red and black, I should say, <laughs> into the back of the TV. Uh, it's a bit fiddly to do. Uh, hold on. I've uh, got the red one going there. So basically, make sure they're in. And then you've got your red and black, and you pitch cable, so you see you've got, still got the uh, picture there, if I put sound in, that's just TV sound there, so that's just TV sound, now if I pan down to the uh, laptop, turn the speakers on the laptop, you've got, there you are, so now that means you've got both, you can game and record with sound at the same time.